To find the total surface area of this triangular prism, it will be helpful to draw lines that will show the hidden faces of this shape. And this we can do by connecting a line from this point here, down here, and another line from this point here to this point, and connect these two points here with a straight line. Now, it's clearly visible the faces of this triangular prism. You can see we have a triangle here in the front and a triangle here at the back. You also have a rectangle face point facing us here in the front and another rectangle here at the back and then another rectangle here at the base. Now, to find the total surface area, we're going to find the area of each faces and then add them up. So we begin with the first face, which is the triangle here. Remember, the area of a triangle of a, of a triangle is given by the base times the height divided by two. Here, the base here is three centimeter, and the height here is four centimeter, and then you divide this by two. And if you work this out, you have six centimeter square. And because this triangle here in the front is identical to the, the one at the back, the area definitely going to be the same. But I'm just going to show you how this is done. It's going to be 3 times 4 divided by 2, which is going to be actually 6 centimeter squared. Next, we find the area of this rectangle here in the front. Okay? Now, the dimensions are given the length is 8 and the width is 5. So, the area for this rectangle on the front is the length times the width, which is actually going to give you the 8 multiply by 5 and that's going to give you 40 centimeter squared and now because this triangle here is an isosceles this length here is equal to this length so if you look at the rectangle at the back you can find the length is uh, the width is 5 and the length is 8 actually so we can also do the same the rect area of the rectangle at the back is going to be 8 times 5 and that's going to give you also 40 centimeter squared now, there's one more face we haven't taken yet. I think that's going to be the bottom rectangle. Okay, you can see the dimension already. The length is 8 and the width is 3. So, the area for the bottom rectangle is the length times the width. Now, the length here is 8. Multiply the width, which is 3. And if you multiply this, you have 24 centimeter squared. Now, to find the total surface area, all I need to do, okay, the total surface area is to add up all this value, 6, 6, 40, 40, and 24 centimeter squares. If you add them up, you're going to have 116 centimeters squared. This gives you the whole total surface area of this shape.